right, got it on full screen. You were so lucky you had the mic off. I have my mic off because you just scared the shit out of me. Football. <laughs> Football. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm here. Unnamed Firesnorn, the owner of the Saskatoon Sparkle Farts, is here. And also, MSK, the owner of the Dinosaur Fossils, is here tonight for week three action nope. of... Oh, what? It's what? Huh? What? what? I said hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hey. And we are ready for the week number three of the Extreme Indoor Football League's 2023 season with a big doubleheader tonight and also one coming up on Wednesday night. Big doubleheader tonight. Uh, two undefeated teams, each at 1-0. The Saskatoon Sparkle Farts will start us off against the runners-up from last year, the Dinosaur Fossils. Saskatoons, this would be fir their first game of the year as they currently lead the league in points uh, points. Scored, however, those all were simulated games, so that probably isn't going to hold up too too much. That doesn't have much bearing. The stats are bullshit. We're at the Mesozoic Arena and Civic Center in Dinosaur, Colorado. Game two of our doubleheader tonight will feature the Pittsburgh By God Salad Fries at one and one. They are taking on the Kansas City Mahomies at one and one. Pittsburgh coming off a stupid, stupid, stupid win against the division against the runner-ups, uh, the champions last year. The Reading Rainbows. Prior to that, in Week One, won in the stupidest way fashion by fumbling in overtime and then losing by field goal. Let's and see. Will what... Marty actually passed the Inzer test this week? Will Mar well, Yes, Will Moises Marty passed the Inzer test this week. My original thoughts is negative. Other games we'll have coming up for you this week. Uh, coming up on Wednesday night, we'll see the uh, the opening uh, stream debut of the Baltimore Challenge Passers as they will take on the Flint Super Weapon, the Flint Stones at one and zero. Joe Lex running that team, and also we'll see the we'll see last year's champions. We can find them. Yes, we do. The Fighting Polygon team at one and one. They are taking on the de the defending champion Reading Rainbows, also at zero and one at uh, at zero and one rather. As uh, we'll see, both of those teams will be playing their uh, their stream debuts as Reading looks for their first win of the season. Other games that will be simulated on Wednesday night, we'll see the Boston Jelly Beans taking on the San Antonio Corditas. The Mung Young Munji coming off their loss last week against the Winchester 73s. Uh, the Kingston Punishers will take on the Lawn Fair PG, PG Chips. It's the UK Battle Part 2. The Hope Peak, coming off of their win, will take on the Madison Wolfpack. The Augusta Duffers, at a strong 2-0 start, will face the undefeated Dead Horse Mountains. Uh, the Ottawa Allcaps against Lafayette Subjugulators, two teams from last year playing. And rounding things out, the Alaska Pipeline will face the, the South Park Bill Hells. The South Park looks for their first win of the season. Their head coach, owner, oh, and financial beneficiary, Eric Kurtman. Yes, can you guess? Uh-huh. I used to be able to do a great Cartman impression. I used to do a great Cartman's mom impression. Everybody did a great Cartman's mom. I know. I haven't. If you want to see that many players coming out of the tunnel, lovely fans. I was just about to say lovely fans. <laughs> <Shut -a -dun -dun -dun. laughs> yes. But, so, running off of. So, let's go ahead and get to our first game of the night Saskatoon Sparkle Farts. Uh, they will just uh, check the star players. 
Coming back from last season for the Dinosaur Fossils is their star quarterback. Uh, coming back there is their star quarterback, uh, Angelo Saxonville, and star running back, March Aridin. March or March Aridin, whichever you want to pronounce it. March Aridin. I March believe Aridin. it's March Aridin. March Aridin. And the Saskatoon drafted over uh, 11th overall come with uh, quarterback now on his third team, Overdrive, who started with the Orlando Oranges. Uh, played for a few seasons with the San Francisco Rush 2049 and has now been redrafted to Saskatoon and uh, their running back Montgomery Flea Market. So a quarterback running back duel. We'll start off our to start off our opening game. All right, so we will go ahead and get those points a going. Good to see Saxville tr all, all pumped up and ready to go. Pumped up on whatever drugs you're choosing. It's all legal. No, he's just pumped up on fossil fuel. That'll do it, too. Highly toxic, but still delicious. If you got points, you got those points, you can bet them. Get you more points. We can do more crazy sound effect stuff. The dock is up, and it's ready. And we're going to go ahead and get the betting underway. There I it is. came in. I can barely hear the stream. Because there's no audio. That's why. Ah. We're, we are not to the game yet. We are still on the menu. We have not placed the order yet. We're looking over the appetizers and the wine list. That explains it. My, uh, my apologies. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I got you covered. I got you covered. Yeah, I know what I'm doing 80% of the time all the time. I have an idea. All right. So we're about halfway through the betting here and again. The stats looking in favor of Dinosaur, but not by much. But, of course, statistics are absolute bullshit, as we have discovered. Negative one uh, turnover differential for Dinosaur with two in the favor of Saskatoon. Saskatoon Sparkle Farts, a new team this year. Dinosaur Fossils, again, coming back from last year. And we have the points in. So we're going to go ahead. We'll get it going. Undefeated battle, Saskatoon Spark of Arts at 1-0, the Dinosaur Fossils at 1-0, and this game is next. Hold on! <laughs> we have our first instance as the as the Fossils have too few wide receiver line linebackers, so this means... Uh-oh. Bottom up drafting. Yes, bottoms up drafting. For those new, uh, if a team does not have enough players at a particular position... Uh, we will go to the free agent pool, and we will pick the lowest-ranked player that is not an actual person. Oh, my God. I was safe to draft. Hey everybody, I'm a shark. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. <laughs> like a cross between Bruce and Harry Carey there for a minute. Hey. What's the deal with pretzels? <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and we'll get the, uh, the fossils drafted. Ron Teague will be coming to the... We'll be coming to the team. I think he's related to actor from Roadhouse, Marshall Teague. It's all about the size of Teague. Ron Teague has joined the dinosaur. Has joined the dinosaur fossils. Chris Kurt is an actual person, so we can he cannot draft him. Holy calamity! I just ate Amity. Yeah. yeah. Saskatoon Spark of Hearts, dinosaur fossils. This game. Is next. Limitless Derek Lee. All bad. Oh, go ahead. All dri uh, careful when driving and receiving Roadhouse. Or yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to swerve Scott. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> I am Almighty J. Yay, more bills. <laughs> Wrong site. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong channel. <laughs> You might want to go to this one instead. 
Lonelyfans.lol will, will actually route you to another Twitch channel. I'm dead serious. Thank you for the correction, Jay. Good job. Almighty Jay joins us. Hi. Hello. Can confirm. Can confirm. Welcome I'm to today's game. I'm cheap and nerdy. <laughs> Pesky autocorrect. Milf. There, there's, there's no rules, but there's plenty of Capri Sun. Here comes Rivera and Sanders for the Saskatoon Spark of Hearts. If you're cheap and dirty, but you're probably hot horny on Maine. There's glitter everywhere. There's glitter everywhere. My eyes. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Who chopped up the foil? You'd be surprised what big, meaty men with uh, glitter injected into their veins will do. Yeah. God's help. Hey, Here comes the, we're, we're at home at Dinosaur of the Mesozoic Arena. When they score, they roar. And Dinosaur with a win tonight will have the early lead in their division. Do you think there's a chance of arena football making a comeback? Yes. The arena, yes, the, the AFL is making a comeback. And they also have the IFL as well. Well, they're Bon jo Jovi own a team. Well, they're living on a prayer for that. <laughs> Saskatoon, by virtue of too much glitter, will get the ball first. And that will be after we touch back into the end zone. And if you want to see a glitter cannon do some wild shit, lonely fans. <laughs> first that ain't a cannon, Keith, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Overdrive for the Sas Saskatoon Sparklefarts will start things off, and he will hand it ball going through and takes a hit incomplete. Or is that Michael's associate slash referee? They're trying to mess on me. Second yes, they were. Ball on the five yard line. And the CIF, yeah. And then you got the, the Johnny Manzel lead. Throw, overdrive. Overthrows, spikes it over the board. <laughs> The the wall is incomplete. Number More glitter has just ejected into the, the, the air. The <laughs> Third and ten. Ball oh, yeah. five yards. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like a snow globe in here. Saskatoon on the five yard line. Early troubles on offense. Throws. Catch is made and a first down for Saskatoon. Nineteen yard gain on the play. Yep. I just realized in advance after naming my team. And there's a two and there's the two redemption. There's the what? The fart redemption for points. Oh yeah, fart redemption. Yeah. Catch is made. Oh. Again. Number 85 He's on the reception. Gain of six on the play. Second and three. All about the timing of all on the 20 yard line. You gotta time everything. Honor in motion for Saskatoon. Overdrive and a risky throw incomplete. incomplete pass. Yeah, he got and level. The intended receiver on the play. One big play has kept the drive alive, but ball on the 20 yard line. And the first defense staying true. So a third and three we go. Drive with protection throws incomplete. Find his guy. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. Mark lands up with a party kick. The field goal attempt. Kick is good. 35 yard field goal by McGuire. And an early 3 0 lead for the, uh, lead, uh, for the Saskatoon Sparkle Farts. That ball just hit me. No, oh, that ball was a nice little rainbow. Mm hmm. Should yes, I said rainbow. Yes, I said rainbow. It's all about the man, the team. Where did I park? <laughs> My jaw is still open. Little hot dog. And that tra travels also through the touchback for the the, the, the secret goes spot. Through the end zone for a touchback. And as I've said many times before, if you want to cover her spread, you do it at Lonely Fans. Five dollars down and free bets line. on the rest of the boobies. At Lonely <laughs> Fans. Look, look it up. 
<laughs> Get back, Bill. Good throw and a first down. Place it. That's where I got it. First and 10. Ahi is ball wacky, ball I tell you. Marco Fart's uniforms are great. I can easily read them. I know. Set. Our set of downs for Dinosaur. Saxonville overthrows his guy incomplete. Incomplete. Pass. Number 92. Web is. Receiver on the play. Second and 10. All right, come on, boys. You, you guys are famous. My teams are famous for getting a pick six the first week. Yeah, he just he just calls those out by demand. How's the sack for you instead? <laughs> oh, I'll take the sack. God damn it! This will bring it up to Steve Austin colors. Third what? and sixteen, son. Third and long. Ball on the Third and sixteen. Look at me, you mealy mouth bastard. What? He's got to throw. Throws the ball. That's completion. Quack. That's right. A first and goal for Dinosaur. What a catch. That was a bullet. I need to throw one more time. Squeezed it in there. Back to it. And into the speakers you go. Had the wall not stopped him, he probably would have gotten into the end zone. Give me a close on Michael. First and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Sweep. Good block. Six Uncontested. Points. Touchdown. Oh, wait. Where's my dinosaur roar? I got. Oh, fuck. Yeah. How's that for you? I said dinosaur, not big show. Close enough. The extra point attempt Kick is good. A one yard run by Clark. All right, I'll send it your way, caveman. his way and the first kick return of the night goes to about the nine yard Kickoff line returns nine yards black on the return oh nice first and ten ball on the ten yard line maybe she wants me to watch tv let's not do that Saskatoon with overdrive and they throw and it's another incompletion any other league that'd be pass interference here Number 95. Yeah, it's all receiver on the board. Yeah, it's all we do. Second and 10. Ball on the 10 yard line. Yes. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. Our drive throws again. More problems with the offense. Hey man, did, did he run into the wall? No. Number no, he intended receiver on the play. It's the Canadian offense. I think it's the adjustment from the uh, American the West Coast offense line. to the Canadian Central Coast offense. Causing a little bit of a mix up here with overdrive. Last play of the first quarter, throw. Airs it out, but still can't hold on, incomplete. Incomplete pass. Oh, how did you drop that? That was catchable. Seven to three at the end of the first quarter. Dinosaur moving things along. We'll go right into the second quarter. And McGuire, who had the field goal earlier, is just going to boot this one away and hope for the best. Yes, Monty Brown just did put the best of luck. Kick is away. The field goal attempt is about the seven yard line. Nice leg lariat tackle there by Saskatoon. What was that? Uh, no our head coach, <laughs> Mini Corn. I have questions. Was that a trouble in paradise? Yeah, it looked like a really oh bad insecurity. Or a common Geary. Or a man named hey. Geary. 
for for you classic wrestling fans, it kind of looked like a bad ghetto blaster. Bad news, Brown. Very nice. Good one. Jacksonville and Dinosaur lining up, up by four. They were going to throw. And end ball going forward. He tucked. The pass ball's incomplete. Number 38 Indiana. on the cover. It's Zuckiri, Indiana. It's Zuckiri, Indiana. Throw. Watch it. Flings it. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 92, the intended receiver on the play. Can confirm as well that on Third wrestling news, uh, that there will be an upcoming yard. very large wrestling, a very large Saudi event in the future. Details will be named on that later. Right. Bro. Come on, come on. Saxonville flips it incomplete. So does the receiver. The pass falls incomplete. Number 85, <laughs> the intended receiver on the play. Ass over tea kettle. Do a fourth down, and neither will boot this one away and hope for the best. Kick is down, the kick is away. And the kick goes in. No good. Go to the secret spot for the touchback for the five yards. You guys ready? Get up, State. Don't give him an inch. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. All right, come on. All right, guys. You heard me go. Denny Green eats at Denny's. Saskatoon getting the ball at the five yard line. First and ten. Ball on the five yard line. Overdrive will throw. Throws it. Catch is made. First down. I'm correct on this. I'd, I'd have to check. I don't think any team from Canada has made it to the championship game. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. No, but we do have we, we, just tank bowl. Ottawa won tank bowl. And it ball going forward. <laughs> Overdrive going <laughs> backwards. Greater <laughs> on the cover. Lit up in the process. Is the Stanley Cup the only Second gold sports ten. cup in North ball America? On the 20 yard line. Uh, no, that is Brett Favre's Jock Strap. That's the oldest cup. Thank you. <laughs> Throws! That is. Unintendedly oh. caught for a first down. With the that damn double C joins us. Hi. Oh. Was well, intended for one. Came back to it and got the first down. First and goal for Saskatoon. First and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. Overdrive. End zone. Coconutted. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 81. The intended receiver on the play. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. We're in, we're in uh, Ball on the seven yard goal line. range and we're not uh, using our running as of yet. Yeah, use Montgomery Flea Market. The sweep. We got about a few yards. What with the Number wide receiver? Five, the ball carrier. Gain of four on the play. Our gain gets inches him a little closer. Third and goal. Ball Damn allergies. I agree. Habitual Zyrtec inhaler. Or taker. Delicious. Overdrive to the end zone. Hit. It caught it. It caught. Ball broke the plane of the goal line with possession. Think of that press um. to be sure. I'll take it. I question it, but I'll still take it. Yep, two feet down. He had a foot down. Oh. Ball broke the plane of the goal, goal line, so yes, that is a touchdown. Impressive. What happens when the CPU does the judging? None of this human error. The extra point attempt is good. Kick is good. Drive to meter for a four-yard pass. 10 to 7, the Saskatoon Sparkle Farts with their first lead of, with their second lead of the night. Uh, I love how that touchdown catch play is is suggestively inappropriate. Drive the meter. Drive the meter. You gotta drive the meter.
Kick is away. Off the back wall, dinosaur with a little bit of dirt. Difficulty on the return. Fumble! Fumble! 14 points in quick succession. Touchdown, Saskatoon! Uh, not the defensive touchdown I called, but I'll take it. Played off the back wall, had trouble returning it. Tried to get a block. Ball comes loose. Nothing but glitter. Touchdown, Saskatoon. In our, in my case, it'd be glitter and doom. Oh, the sparkle, can the the cannon, the glitter cannons are out full force. The extra point attempt is good. Kick is good. A fumble returner by Brown. May have been some glitter on that ball that made it slippery. Makes sense. And nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong. That too. That's what's going to try to return it and bet uh, to the 15 yard line. Kickoff return 15 yards. Johnson on the return. As a result, two quick scores. First two plays, two scores. Ball on the 15 yard line. Dinosaur finds themselves with a comet looming down at them. Jacksonville off his back foot, incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Number 90, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10, ball on the 15 yard line. Off the 15, still is second and 10 for Dinosaur, trailing by 10. Jacksonville will throw with good protection. Deep ball. Touchdown. Catch and a touchdown. Yes, and when they score, they roar. I said, I said to you in the PM. This is the right one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Ah! Keep it room, keep it room. Block the kid, block it. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> That's the one. That's the key. Thank you. <laughs> Saxonville to Pope going deep, 35 yards. Dinosaur trails by three. <laughs> Wonders if Jake Caveman has a Jim Ross impersonation. Yes. And they're going and for the onside going, kick. They're going for the onside kick. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna tackle the shit out. Someone <laughs> get that slap mark ready. What what just be a kick six? Is 17, 14. Who cares how many? Well, has to travel at least five yards. Booped! And they got it! They muffed it! Like a wild end over bounce, they couldn't get a hold of it. Dinosaur has the ball. I think it I think it helps that we grease the ball. First and ten. Ball on the nine yard line. Put some fossil fuel on it. Yes. <laughs> put, put some petro jelly on it. Saxonville's gonna keep it himself and get sacked. What? The pterodactyl chair jelly? Pterodactyl pterodactyl on the jelly. You tried, you tried to give me a seizure? Ball on the <laughs> I did, but... 30 <laughs> seconds to go. Dinosaur trailing by three. Perhaps looking just to run out the clock here. And I think we're getting some drop frames here. All right, we're coming back here. We got it now. Time still ticking down here. Not 10 now. seconds, and they'll sweep. 
Marcherine runs forward. The so defense that, calls a timeout. And White Saskatoon wants to call run. time. One yard gain on the play. Old strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. Ten. Ball on the Third and ten with seven line. seconds left in the half. Dinosaur will get the ball in the second half. Saxonville keep timeout called by the defense. Number 14. I have seen this play too many times before. What the hell? Need to have a talk. Oh my god. Come down there, Jerry Jones style, and beat that shit out of your team. Okay, where the fuck's my belt? Oh, Meter will line up for the kick. Five seconds to go in the half. Oh, run it back. God damn. 17 14 is your score. Get Baz Rutten up there. Where's he at? Where's that man? I will be right back. Uh, of course you will. We're looking for the whereabouts of one Baz Rutten, and his whereabouts are nowhere to be found. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Go ahead and we'll get to our halftime stats here. It's been going pretty quick. 17 to 14. The Saskatoon Sparkle Farts up in the lead. That line looks pretty and slightly in favor of the dinosaur fossils. That doesn't show on the scoreboard due to a muffed of uh, fumble. Special teams being a bit of an issue from both teams there. Fumble in the end zone is what caused this the seven points. The extra seven points there. Our quarterback comparison, Angelo Saxonville, not his best start. Three of eight, 85 yards, one touchdown. On the flip side for overdrive, not his best start either. 5 of 14, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Saxonville has been sacked one time. The difference maker has what was right now on defense, and we'll take a look here. It was Aaron Brown who had the, the pickup in the end, the, the fumble recovery in the end zone. As we started off here with the Sparkle Farts getting an early field goal, 35 yards by McGuire makes it 3-0. A one-yard run by Clark makes it 7-3. And then the quarterbacks come out to play. Four-yard pass drive to meter. Makes it 14-3. Uh, makes it 10-7. And then right on the next play, a fumble recovered by Brown in the end zone. Jacksonville goes deep to Pope, 17-14. We still got a close one. Game two of our doubleheader tonight, we'll see. The Pittsburgh by God salad fries with the Yinzer test completed in total Yinzer vision. We'll take on the Kansas City Mahomies in game two of our doubleheader tonight. And we got games coming up on Wednesday. The Baltimore Challenge Passers will face the Flint Stones. And the Finding Polygon team will face the Reading Rainbows. Also on Wednesday night, the remaining simulated game injury reports. And letting you know what our schedule will hold for week number four. Still early in the season, still a feeling out process over the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving things along, Dinosaur will get the ball to start the second half, trailing by three. That hangs up in the boards. <laughs> oh! Kickoff return for six yards. Johnson they faced Ray and GDR return. for the three consecutive streams this month. And Spark First and 10. Ball, ball on the six the yard. Fire yard. burning. Maybe find some creep. I came back. I came back at the right time. Yes, you did. Move it, move it. Watching action. Uh, Angelo Saxonville get absolutely <laughs> sacked into the ground by the four yard loss. I take that back. Ah, uh, yes, hey. 
Dinosaur will start at the two. Moves it back down to the two yard line. Ball on the two yard line. Saskatoon is tricky. I haven't really figured them out yet what their specialty is. Saxonville keeps it himself. Took a lick, but he got some yardage. Number 14 on the run. Gain of four on the play. Gets back the four yards lost Third on the previous play. Ball on the five yard line. Ball is now at the five, just past the five yard line for Dinosaur in the third and ten. The throw, airs it, overthrows his guy incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Number 92, the intended receiver on the play. Offensive troubles for both teams. Neither will line up for, for another kick. Boot this one away and hope for the best. The field goal attempt is no good. He's got some blockers dumped over the boards at midfield. Good return for Saskatoon. How come the how come it said no good? That, I, I got a little confused on that. First it was ten. well short. Ball on the twenty-four yard. Because there's no punts in the because there's no punts in arena football, it's treated as a field goal attempt. Ah. Yeah. Keep going. Yep. Rose incomplete. Mm. Incomplete pass. There's no because there's no punting in arena the football and there's no the punting play. in the XILF. Each kick Second is being treated ten. as a field goal. Ball on the 24 yard line. And that's why Meter is now 0 for 3, even though it's well outside of his range. Sweet. LOL. One play. Ball on the 22 yard line. You either, score, uh, kick, either you score via kick or via throw, run, or fumble, or turnover, or whatever. Overdrive has great protection, away. goes deep. Away. Incomplete, throwing it in triple coverage. Why? The fastball is incomplete. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Rated GDR with a sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you for the sub. You go, wabash, sub slap. McGuire will line up for the kick. Opportunity to make it a six-point lead. No good! No good. And Dinosaur recovers the ball. All right, man, all right. We can't waste this opportunity. Yeah. We got the ball. We got to move it on. Yeah. Do you hear me? Good you effort. Know I'm saying, yeah. That was a, just short. That was a healthy doink. That was a ping test. You need a clown. That's no, no, no clowning right, on that one. Ball on the oh. I'll agree with that one. Dinosaur trails by three. Thank you, Wiz. Saxonville to throw. Again, incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 90, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the two yard line. Second down from the two. Pressure coming. Fumble! Touchdown. Touchdown, Saskatoon! <laughs> My God! Jacksonville saw the guy coming. Oh, stripped it right out. Didn't he punched it out of his hand. Knocked it right out of his hand. That is that is some thousand IQ dressing. That is some shit right here. New team, new city, same fuckery. Touchdown, Saskatoon. Wire will line up for the kick. Saskatoon has scored 14 points off of fumbles directly. The extra point is good. is good. That is Montgomery Flea Market on the fumble return. <laughs> it's just Let's like go. a, it's like a, it's like a, a footy. Ball! Still got that oversized suit. I love it. He's just like, he's just like a Batista bomb. 
Oh, more glitter. <laughs> Kick is away, going over, across the body. The other side of the netting, tripping him up a little bit. What about the 10-yard line for Dinosaur? Kickoff return, 11 yards. Johnson on the return. First and 10, ball on the 11-yard line. Dinosaur's offense has to be tired here. Running it forward again. He may have got no, no gain. Saxonville getting beat up in this game. He takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Oh, no, he's getting licked all right. Come on, the joke is right there. The throw. Incomplete. Incomplete pass, number 89, the intended receiver on the play. Thank you, Homer. He understood the assignment. Third and 10. On the 11-yard line. I was, I, I was eating. Oh, okay. Come on, come on. Jackson Dolan. Oh! Thank God. Does not hold on to the ball for all the right reasons. It's, it's fucking bulldozed. Is of course our Slap Mart. Slap of the Night brought to you by Slap Mart. And it's where America shops. With America's Dance choice. our award. Dance our award season. It's an award season. Keep your price keep our prices out of your mouth. <laughs> Neither will come up for another kick. Come on, Meador. You better be better than Cundiff. That's a throwback. Yeah, it's a bit of a throwback. I don't think he's that anywhere close to that. Now a little four in the night. Glorified punt. You guys ready? Ask a tune. Don't give him an Takes over on offense again. All right, come on. All right, guys. You heard me. Go. They're still within it. It's still a two-score game. First and ten. All on the twelve. They have offensive weaponry in the fact that in the uh, for overdrive. They will throw. Lings it, and it's a modest completion, a confidence builder. Flavor on the reception. Oh yeah, for game of eight. They thought the game, the they thought the game was starting at 7:44. Pat Katz on it. A sub slap. 56 months. Good lord. Thank you. Hello, Pat. Howdy, howdy. Hey, Pat. Rose on the run. And Caught the touchdown. Let's go. I'll give him that one. That was impressive. That was on the run. A little sparkle front boost. More glitter in the air. McGuire comes in for the kick. Our 17-point lead for Saskatoon. The, extra point the kick is good. Drive to green, makes it 30 yards. Light the glitter beam. Those wondering, 28 points is a skunk. Team is up by 28 points at the end of a first, second, or third quarter. We do something else while the, while the game plays out. And this is looking like it's not going to be a skunk. Got 18 seconds left in the third quarter. No skunk. Kick by McGuire is away. Taken on the fly by Dinosaur. Bounced around a bit. Move out the seven yard Kick line. Return, seven the yards. old pinball. Yeah, the old pinball. The He'll launch up in the air and hit you, in the sp hit you with a They'll spear start of the drive at the seven yard line. First and ten. Time ticking down for Dinosaur. At the end of the third there quarter, is still an ungodly is, amount of football left to play, and it's 31 to 14. Anything can still happen. I mean, we all thought the infamous UK battle was over, or the Win the infamous Winchester twenty four comeback, uh, the Winchester twenty four point comeback was over. Oh, but we were wrong. That game was crazy. Saxonville fumbled. That's ball game. Touchdown. Twenty one points off of fumbles. Let's go. Unbelievable. Set. I always bring a defensive team. <laughs> I gotta dance. I gotta dance. You need draft defensive yeah. players too. I need to as well. 
I have things. Jacksonville wants to try and run it, but it's not working. He can't hold on to the ball. Good. Rivera with a one-yard fumble. Saskatoon with 21 points just off of turnovers directly. I always think it's funny. I never draft a defensive player, and yet I always have a defensively strong team. I think it's just because you ask for turnovers and they give them to you. I'm polite about it. It's, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the Canadian it's, thing. It's, this, it's the salt-based continuum. It's going to put Dinosaur in the hole. 24-point lead for Saskatoon. The dinosaur has been playing. In fact, this is not going to be the epic comeback. Kickoff that return, that six yards. He's used to return. They'll start the drive at the seven-yard line. First and ten. Move it, move it. Off the back foot comes back to it and may get about a yard or two. Evans makes the catch. Game Good news is it's still early in the season for Dinosaur, though. Exactly. I think they started they started the season a bit sluggish, but it's usually the second half of the season where things picked up. Yeah, the, the fossil fuel really kicks in. It's a slow burn, is what it is. It's a slow burn. Taylor yeah, on the reception. No gain on the play. You okay? Third and nine. Ball allergies. Nine yard line. Oh, Mid yeah. Midnight allergies. I know exactly how that feels. Come on, come on. That screen pass did nothing. <laughs> Number 94. That screen pass did nothing. Three yard loss on the play. I think it was the Yasmin that did it. Meter is about to become 0 for 5 on the night. <laughs> this is the other contributing factors. They can't convert on fourth down. Um, they can't convert on third downs. The kick is no good. Runs politely into the waiting arms at the 14-yard line. Hey, man. What's up, coach? You know what position you're playing? Yeah. Check it out. You yeah. see it? Look. You yeah. got offense now. Yeah. They turned it over. Let's okay. make it happen. Go. He's 0 for 5 on 0 for 5 on kicks tonight. First and 10. Ball on the 14 yard line. Saskatoon up by 24 at this point, just probably going to burn out clock. Nope. Overdrive wants to make him pay for it. Fumble! Oh. But they got it! Saskatoon with it. Gets the fumble. What a hit. Oh my God. Who was that? I want to give him a raise. That's number 95. Number 95, meet number 95. Ow. It goes my shoulder, bitch. Shoulder tackle, the shoulder tackle, ball skirts away. Number 59, that is uh, Rivera who had the, yeah, that is, yeah, that is Rivera who had the fumble recovery. It's Slap Mart where America shops, and it's a seven yard gain. The Saskatoon sparkle farts. 95, 95, 59, got the ball, overdrive to throw. In coverage, incomplete. Injury uh, so play. Walter Johnson injured on the play for Dinosaur. So that fumble was a Durango. Yeah, it was a number 95. Third and three. He is right, that is ball a Durango. Ball on the 21-yard line. Yeah, my Durango. One play, does nothing. LOL! Number 38, three yard loss on the play. Alright, we're coming in for another kick to boot this one away. Joe's here! Hey, Joe. Joe will be playing on uh, Wednesday night. His team, the Flint Stones. The kick is no good. Their kick is no good. 
Oh, right, Mr. Listen Texas, up, listen man. up. Come over here. This is right, not a good, this is not a good night if you're a kicker. I'm going to that turnover, okay? Yeah. All right, not now a good go, night go. if you're a kicker. First and 10. Ball on the three yard line. Sounds like time for another scoop six. For safety. As he throws, goes deep ball. Catch is made, dinosaur in the end zone, touchdown. That was a nice catch. It was a garbage time touchdown, but it's a touchdown nonetheless. And they're gonna go for two. Making a 16 point game with the conversion. Bro, oh no, sacked it. No good, makes the lead 18. Saxonville to Evans, 47 yards. That was impressive. They're going to do the onside kick. They had one one onside kick was recovered earlier. Uh, do not botch it again, guys. Come on. Never know. It is XLA. We're waiting for the kicker. There is the kicker. Otherwise, how's the frame rate doing for uh, the chat here? I'm the press, guys. I'm the press. This is going to be easy. It's because I've been getting some drop frames. I don't know if we may have to do the... Uh, Oh, that's a few falls on it. They have to turn off the, the TV in the owner's lounge if it's, uh, it's causing some effects to the game. First and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. Better lately was touchy early on. Okay, okay. All right. That's two people. That'll agree. One play. And about a yard out of it. Number 38 with the carry. Gain of two on the play. Yeah, it's going to spend the rest of this game just strolling around the flea market. Ball on the eight yard line. Give it to Montgomery Flea Market. And they have to. Yeah, take it down. See what he can do here. Overdrive on the throw. Incomplete. The pass ball's incomplete. Number 85. And, uh, the, the clock will still continue to move outside of one minute. Third and goal. Ball on the eight yard line. Not a minute 30 left in the game. Saskatoon up by 18. Go, go. A sweep. Charges forward. Upended, and he's fine. Injury. Rex Taylor injured on the play. Player down on the field. Second, oh, boy. Second injured player for Dinosaur. E Rex Taylor down. McGuire will come in for the kick with a minute 23 to go. To make it a 21 point lead. McGuire on the kick. The field goal it is good. Is good. 17 yard field goal by McGuire makes it a 21 point lead with a minute 21 to go. I have to say, I think this is going to be ball game for Dinosaur. And those three scoop sixes are the difference in the game. That they are. Injured player down on the field. Zeke Lindsay injured on the play for Saskatoon. When you're down by a lot of points, what do you do? Head hunt. That's what you do. It's a flesh wound. It's a flesh wound. Depeche mode. Yeah, Depeche mode. We're just no, a the the at the 13 yard line. First and 10. We'll probably bring it to the one minute warning. This will be kind of a learning experience for everybody involved here. As in, hold on to the damn ball for the next game. They'll take over at the 13 yard line. First and 10. Yeah, this might be a record for most scoop sixes in a single game. That is incomplete pass. Incomplete. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Sammy Rivera will get player of the game honors. I believe he had the scoop. He had the scoop six. Last one at least. Jacksonville's going to take it himself. Gets popped. 
I think he also picked up our, uh, the Saskatoon fumble as well. I think, I think he did. We'll check his, we'll check his stat lines there, but I think it's going to be a big defensive night for him. Jacksonville with a throw, got a catch. Break a couple tackles, you got a first and goal. Saskatoon playing a little conservative, just saying, hey, just let him go. First and goal. Ball on the five Run yard. On the clock a little bit more. Jacksonville overthrows this guy to the end zone, incomplete. The pass ball's incomplete. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. Second and goal. Sensing a Ball garbage time five score. Yard line. Defensive audible by Saskatoon. Jacksonville. Catch was made, but it's not, it's going to be at about the goal line. Ball did not break Clark, the, of the goal the line. Gain of four hurry up to the third play. goal. Rose. And incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 92. The question is, are they going to go for it, or are they going to give Meter his first kick of the night? Fourth and goal. No, they're going to go for it. 19 seconds to go. Opportunity to make it a respectable loss. Run play. Does nothing. It's a turnover on downs. Saskatoon can just run out the clock here with positive gain. 17 <laughs> seconds to go. Run play. Charge is forward. He's got a, he's got positive gain, so that will probably put an end to the game. Number 38 on the carry. One yard gain on the play. Into the red zone, but exit with zero points. Second and nine. Ball on the three yard. 21 line. points from pick six from scoop sixes. That's What's an the end, end of the, the game? game. The final score is the Saskatoon Sparkle Farts on their debut on podcast on stream, 41 to 20, with a winner over the conference champions. Good, good going there, dude. Mr. Yeah, that was, yeah, thanks. Um, a good game on you guys. Just yeah, bad fumbles at the wrong time. Saskatoon may be the team to watch for. I don't know if this might be just a one-off, but they may be a team to look for on defense. Saskatoon's defense scored more points than Saskatoon's offense. 41 to 20, your final. Three turnovers by Dinosaur, and they are all for touchdowns. Hey, if it gets results. Other than that, pretty even stat line. Angela Saxonville, not his best night. 9 of 21, 165 yards, two touchdowns. Sacked three times and fumbled twice. Both of those fumbles leading directly to touchdowns. On the flip side for overdrive, not really his best night either. 8 of 21, 114 yards, two touchdowns. But again, 21 points off of fumbles. Hit. And this is where I drop out. I will see you guys the next time I do this. All right. We'll see you around. Likewise. All right. Sammy Rivera will get player of the game honors. He had a, uh, let's get his stat line here. And one tackle, one sack. And had the late fumble touch, uh, fumble touchdown. Montgomery Flea Market was the other one that had it, on top of Aaron Brown. Brown got it started as he had the one on special teams. Fossils blanked in the third quarter. Seventeen to fourteen at the end at the end of the uh, the first half, and then the fumble returned by Flea Market. Drive to Green to keep it, and then drive to Green. Saskatoon makes it 14-0. And then the fun yard fumble return by Saskatoon puts it to bed. 
Dinosaur with a garbage time touchdown and a 17-yard field goal. 41 to 20. Your final in the end of game one. Saskatoon now has a plus 47 point differential after two games. That is crazy. Yeah, it went exactly an hour. We'll go ahead and dish out those points on top of that, too. 72% uh, of you bet on the Sparkle Farts, including Joe putting up 5,000 points. What are you, the big gambling man over here? Use that outcome. Sparkle Farts get the win. Enjoy those points.